Hey guys, Jason Barr here. I'm a composer in Southwest Florida. It's Friday, May 22nd, and here's another update on the PS150 project. This project is a virtual premiere of my work, Praise Ye the Lord. It is a setting of Psalm 150 for choir and orchestra. Over 50 musicians from across the country, including many right here in Southwest Florida, are coming together for this project with the aim of raising funds for the Harry Chapin Food Bank. Yesterday, there was more bleak unemployment news. Organizations like the Harry Chapin Food Bank are a lifeline in this time of pandemic. If you haven't done so already, please click the first link in the description below and donate now. Today, I'm gonna to tell you a bit about the process of putting this project together. I finished this piece in early April. Already we were under stay at home orders. I wondered when and if the work would ever be performed. I saw many of the amazing videos choirs and orchestras were putting together as virtual performances. I hadn't seen too many that combined choir and orchestra together. I certainly didn't see any world premieres with this many performers, but I thought, why not go for it? One of the first steps in this project was to recruit performers. I have to give a special shout out to Jeff Day, violinist with the Naples Philharmonic. He was not only enthusiastic about playing in the project, but also recruited many of the instrumentalists. He was also a great sounding board for ideas for the project and has given me many helpful suggestions. Much of the work on the PS150 project was simple organization and communication. Jeff and I made a shared Google Doc where we updated what performers we had and what we still needed. I made an information sheet about the project and instructions on the process of recording. With that, I sent out an individual part and a click track to every performer. I've asked the performers for this project to turn in their recordings today, and I've already received 50 of them. The first step for me is to rip the audio from the video and to mix it in an audio editing program called Pro Tools. I'm combining different sections together first, all the woodwinds together, all the brass together, the percussion, the choir, and the strings. Then I'll mix those combined tracks into one master audio track. Once I get a clean, well-mixed track, I drop this into Final Cut Pro and start combining the videos. That's next week's project and it will be a doozy. I want to give a shout out to Nick Dobreff, who is the manager of publicity and communications at the Colorado Symphony. I contacted Nick to ask them how they put together their video of an excerpt of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Nick was very quick to respond and laid out a very nice blueprint for me to follow. I'm going to put a link to that video in the description below, as well as a link to their website. During this time of pandemic, we need to support each other. I'm asking you to click on the link in the description below and give to Harry Chapin Food Bank. Please also let us know that you donated by putting ps150project at yahoo.com in the notification box. Wash your hands, take care of each other, and remember, we are all in this together.